Welcome, 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 welcome back, welcome back. How are you? Hopefully everything is okay with you guys. I decided to do another video because the last video I did, I saw that you guys were really interested in it. Um, you guys left a lot of comments and stuff like that. A lot of the comments were funny. Um, I appreciate it. If you subscribe to my channel, it doesn't cost you anything just to show support. You know, I would really appreciate it. As you guys can tell, I'm brand new on here, but um, I do have a lot to say, you know, about certain things. I have an opinion, and I would love to hear and read your opinions as well, okay? Let's start off with this whole VMA's uh, situation with Nicki Minaj. I love, love, loved it. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. I really like the uh, pink Barbie bride look. But did you guys hear Nicki Minaj's vocals? I would love to hear her a cappella because this sounds beautiful, but you know, with all the technology, you can never be too sure. This was my favorite part right here. I swear that tickled me. <laughs> I just thought Nicki Minaj is a shit starter. The balls, the goal, you feel me? These people are like Cardi's there, um, Megan is there, and she just had no love and just sang her diss track. That's crazy. But um, <laughs> I guess that's Nicki Minaj. But did y'all see Lil Wayne performing? What the was that Tiffany Haddish at the end? Girl, Tiffany, sit your bald head ass down. Oh my God, but she's cute though. I liked her outfit and everything. Did they blackball her? I mean, I don't really see her in anything anymore. I wouldn't have came. I wonder if she got an invite to the VMAs because I wouldn't have went. The way they blackballed her. You know, like she wasn't nothing and nobody cared. Hmm, Glorilla. I don't have nothing negative to say about her, but I know that she needs to fire her stylist. I don't like that. I think she has more of like a tomboyish, like um, more like a, um, you know, Aaliyah style, you know. And I don't know why they styling her in these clothes that don't, it's, to me, it's like she looks and feels awkward. You know what I mean? I don't know. She could probably wear a dress with tennis shoes or something like that. But I don't like when they put stuff like that on her. I didn't like that outfit at all. But I'm a huge fan. Is that Coco? Okay, Coco. I see you. She's cute. I love this on her. Oh, my God. Check out her chocolate skin. It's beautiful. I don't have nothing negative to say. I love the whole thing. It just went. She did it. <laughs> Child, I don't like this at all. They played with my homie. Hell no, nah, that was ugly. I didn't like that at all. Oh my god, I think it was because of you could see the whole shape. It was like nothing left to the imagination of her vagina, in my opinion. And my daughter was like, if you really look at it, she look like she's plugged, but I don't think so. I don't like. I just don't like that. I didn't like that outfit at all. Evidently, I wasn't the only one because she left a measure time. I maybe it'll grow on y'all. I don't know, but I love it. It won't grow on me. She performed with Diddy, 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 Diddy. I'm so proud of her. She came a long way. I'm glad she came through. But the only thing is I noticed that uh, I guess JT not following along with her. She not taking JT with her. And that's messed up because JT is the one who really wanted to be the rapper young miami always said she didn't want to be no rapper do y'all notice how um her and um uh santana been hanging hanging now it's like the city girls is uh young miami and um and santana to be honest that's crazy i hope they didn't fall out i think jt was too busy following following behind that little leprechaun so <laughs> she got left behind you know, but did y'all catch this tea? <laughs> he said, B What's the news? We coming soon to y'all TVs, period. 
TVs? <laughs> Dana, now tell us more, Sandra, please. Tell us more. Oh, no, I said we gonna go live. Okay, we're gonna go live. That's what I said. Girl, you should have announced prep me before I came over here. <laughs> Child Santana spilled the beans. Yes, he did, girl. But I'm here for it. If they're going to be on TV, I'm definitely going to be watching. They're, I think Santana and Young Miami are entertaining together. They make a, the perfect match. And it's good for TV. I know it's going to be hilarious. Well, come to think of it, they're both entertaining separately. But together, it's going to be the bomb. Oh, Maggie was cute too. She was so cute. Very classy. It wasn't showing too much, but still sexy. Her hair, everything went. Everything went. But did y'all catch the tea? The little drama between her and Justin? I really think Justin said something um, inappropriate to her or maybe touched her inappropriately. And then they tried to make it seem as if like, oh, she, um, they was greeting each other and stuff like that. Look at what they had to say. The comments were suggesting that Megan was the problem, like she the one who started the thing, you know, the issue, which I just thought that was so unfair, you know, uh, considering everything that she went through, you know, come on, guys, you know, you don't know what happened, um, you know, you don't know what was said, you don't know if Justin Timberlake was inappropriate or not, Every, the entire blame was on Megan. But there was just like a few people who were like, no, you know, you guys have to, you know, you can't judge it that way and stuff. And then they had this to say. I guess their PRs tried to pull the wool over our eyes. But, honey, I was not going for it. Talking about some old Justin and um, Megan was just saying hi to each other and all this foolishness or whatever, right? That's a lie. Because one thing I know is a black woman, when they're upset, when I'm upset, you know? And she was pissed off. He did something to her. You know, and so they, I guess they're trying to cover it up both for him and her because she doesn't need any more negativity um, surrounding her name. I get it, but don't try to make it seem like we're all dumb, you know. Moving on, child. <laughs> Another stylist who needs to go to jail. Girl, what was this? What was this? A hot mess is what that was. A hot mess. I just felt like I don't get it. Like, what was the point of this? Was this like a Flintstones um, type of theme or Flintstones, like a Pebbles type of, um, I guess, paying homage or whatever? That was a hot mess. Uh-uh. Sweetie, need to get, <laughs> she need to get it together. And her team, she need to fire that stylist because it was a mess. Y'all. To me, it looked like Ashanti decided to wear that dress backwards. That was ugly. I ain't like it. I did not like it at all. I didn't like the. I didn't like her bag neither. Although I get, you know, that was kind of cute. The fact that she trying to, you know, show us her and Nelly or whatever. And I'm glad they got back together, you know, because I believe in love. But that outfit was a mess. It was backwards. I didn't like that outfit, the hairstyle, everything. And Ashanti normally is cute though. The only thing that don't be that really is not on point with um, Ashanti is her wig. Sometimes, do y'all remember that time when she had that wig that was so close to her forehead? Do y'all remember? <laughs> anyway, I'm just glad her and Nelly got back together. Hopefully, it's for, um, you know, it's for good and they get married because daughter, it is time. It is time, honey. Mm. <laughs> Somebody come look at this. What is the meaning of this, please? This is a mess. This is a mess. Is it Halloween already? I don't like this. I don't know. Does anybody else like this? Because I don't like this outfit. I do not like this on her. I don't... Her body is nice and everything, but I think sometimes when you try to be different, you know, you miss. Instead of hitting, you miss. And she definitely miss. Ugh, that was, I didn't like that at all. And she has a nice body. Who is this person? Who is this woman? She just looks so beautiful to me beautiful 
I love the outfit. I love the hat. I love everything. You know, the um, gorilla needs something like that. Something like this. You know what I mean? It's tomboyish but still sexy to me in my opinion. And I just thought that was so creative. The, um, I guess, what's that supposed to be like? The, the, the elbow um, warmers or whatever. It went. It's like a, like a sock, like a baseball. The, the baseball socks or whatever that the, you know the men wear um, when they're playing baseball. She has on her baseball hat. I mean, her body was like shiny or whatever. She have her hat on, still sexy. That's so cute. Can somebody please tell me, comment down below who this person is? Is she an actress or something? I tried to look her up and I could not find her name. Who is she? Whoever did that, whoever the stylist, whoever the stylist was, won. They won. That was so pretty. I thought it was so creative. What y'all think? I don't know who he was, but he was cute too. Uh, T.S. was given, you know. But <laughs> did y'all see this with um, Suki? She gave Delicious the business, honey. And I really think Delicious was coming from a, um, a loving place. I don't think she was trying to be nasty. You know what I mean? I just think that Suki took it the wrong way. And, you know, today, kids nowadays or, you know, Nowadays, you know, you really can't be, you can't give constructive criticism without them becoming offended. You know what I mean? Um, it's almost as if, like, <laughs> don't just keep your comments to yourself because they won't be received well. Child, she told Delicious, you were sleeping with Flavor Flav. <laughs> you ain't scared of nothing. Oh, my God. And, of course, Delicious apologized and stuff like that, you know, because I think... You know, Delicious ain't have nothing to say after that, you know, because um, Suki got with her, got with her bad, you know. <laughs> Ch I guess. Uh, who is this? Um, Christian? I don't like that outfit at all. You know who else dressed like that? YG. And I don't like when he do it either. I just think it's just ugly. It's tacky to me, you know. But y'all, check out. Justin's no Christian's print. Am I the only one that sees that? <laughs> this was cute how Offset was staring at um Cardi B. But them ugly ass barrettes he got on the side of his head, he need to remove those ASAP. I don't know if he was trying to match with Cardi B's dress. That was ugly. That was a mess. I don't like what Offset had on. It's like he he had like the only thing that was missing in that outfit was like a sombrero. That was ugly. Cardi was cute, I guess. You know, she was cute. I like when she wore her hair like that. You know, even though the outfit did look like a balled up um, aluminum foil, you know, but she was still cute. Hallie was cute too. I really like her outfit. This is actually the first time I see that she's more uh, sexy, you know, because she normally cover up. Chloe was cute too. Um,. I didn't like this at all. And normally, Mr. Porter be on point. I ain't like that at all. That was ugly. I don't know if that was supposed to be like a um, a bob. I didn't like that. That was a mess. Look at this. Who is gassing these people up to wear foolishness? Who is this? Pretty V? What does she do? Is she a YouTuber or something like that? It says... Uh, Pretty V given model. I think not. I didn't like that. <laughs> that outfit was ugly. Child, they gave Keisha Cole the business, honey. That's true. Keisha Cole been in the business for too long to be wearing foolishness. Y'all, they was like, it's giving. <laughs> it's giving. Um, your um, your stylist cheated on you. They was like, it's giving hookah with the girls. Girl, Keisha Cole did not look nice at all. It wasn't cute, you know. <laughs> And it ended with Nicki Minaj, you know, doing this tribute for the um, the 50 year of hip hop or whatever. But where's Uncle Luke? You know, where's Uncle Luke? Where's all of Miami, you know, rappers who started it back in the day who was like, you know what I mean? Why they only putting these people? I guess. But uh, Nicki Minaj, I don't know. To me, it seemed like she only was really comfortable hugging um, Lil Wayne. 
And then here go Nicki Minaj with her dude child. I guess. No comment there. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Bye.